All right, now let's check these different display types, examples of different display types. So we first got this block demo. So it's the display of block. It takes up its own line like it owns the place. It goes full width all the way to the end. Now the next one we've got is an inline. So we've got normal text and then we've got this span element which is inline. So it just carries on. Now we've also got an inline block which is a bit of both worlds. It kind of knows when to flex. So as you can see here, oops, we can see that it's it's going side by side with each other. And we can see that it's here in the HTML. Now we've also got display flex, which organizes its children in a flex formation. And we could change the layout of this with different stuff like uh, flex direction and uh, stuff that we'll get into in a later video. But we can see here, the three children is put in line. Now we could also, instead of a row, we could have it as a column, but we'll get to that in a, in a later video. And then <clears throat> we've got display grid, which for here, it's got a two by two grid. So you can customize what the, what the grid layout would be. And then lastly, <laughs> we've got display none which essentially is the ghost mode. It's like the, the element was never there. Now the display value you choose changes everything about how your elements move.